I'm debating between a Pilot Custom 74 or a Vanishing Point. Either one with a fine nib. Any thoughts other than flipping a coin? Well, you could do that. Um, that's a tough one because you are um, talking about two really phenomenal pens and two of kind of some of my favorites. So it's no secret that my blue Custom 74 is kind of a, a, one of my favorite pens. It's very sentimental to me because it was my first gold nib pen. I wrote many of the earliest Goulet Pen Company handwritten notes with this pen. So I like it. It's also just a phenomenal writer. That said, the Vanishing Point, also a phenomenal writer. Now the feed and the nib design on these pens is very different. You know, this is more, the Custom 74 is more of a conventional nib and feed look. The Vanishing Point is the clickable one, so it's a very different size. But the actual writing experience with the two, believe it or not, is fairly similar. Um, the nibs are ground to be fairly, fairly the same, and uh, same tip size, and the springiness might be a little bit more on the Custom 74 because of the length of the nib, but really it's not too bad on the Vanishing Point either. Um, it doesn't spring back quite as, as easily as this one does, but it does get just a little bit of spring. Um, so if you wanted truly a springier uh, experience, it's not flexible, it's not, you're gonna get a line variation here, but to me this does feel just a little bit springier. Um, but really it's a great experience for both similar lines Line with um, the ink capacity is going to be greater on the Custom 74 because it's got that big Con 70 converter in the back versus the, the, the conventional uh, converter on this one. So that's a little bit of a drawback for the Vanishing Point. Probably if there was one drawback that everybody would say, it's the ink capacity on that pen. But you know, it's got a nib unit that's inside the pen, so it has uh, you know some space that has to be accounted for in there for that mechanism. But uh, all in all, it's really not. Uh, a huge issue. It's not like it makes the pen unusable, but that's it's definitely a, a little more of a plus for the for the Custom 74. Um, some other things that uh, each have going for it. Price-wise, they're fairly similar. It's a little bit more for the Custom 74. It's you know maybe fifteen twenty dollars more. It's, it's you know a consideration, but it's not a total deal breaker when you're talking pens in the hundred and fifty dollar price range. Um, uh, to me, I think some of the bigger deals is you get more nib size options with the Vanishing Point. So that's nice. You can get an extra fine, you can get a stub. That's not available, at least in the US, in the Custom 74. Uh, the other thing is the click retraction. That's a huge convenience factor over the screw cap on the Custom 74. So if you're jotting down notes and taking really quick notes here and there, the Vanishing Point is a little more practical. Um, and also the color options too. Now there's some decent color options on the Custom 74, uh, but the Vanishing Point has a lot bigger color range and you can get to some even some fancy stuff like the, the rod and finishes and you know with the abalone shell and stuff, it's really, really gorgeous stuff. Um, that's gonna be more expensive, but it's still um, pretty awesome that you get on the Vanishing Point. So um, all in all, I can't really say which one is gonna be the best for you. I honestly think if it's a complete and total toss-up for you, you really could flip a coin and you'd be happy with either one and then just then save up some more and buy the other one uh, because you would be happy with both. But um, me personally, I have both. I end up using, actually using on a regular basis my Custom 74 a little bit more, but I can say like in terms of popularity and stuff like that, the Vanishing Point far outsells the Custom 74. I mean, there are Custom 74s, no slough, but the Vanishing Point is, is far and away more popular pen. Um, so if for no other reason, you're just looking for what are the greatest chances if, I, if you consider yourself to be someone who likes things that most other people like, um, the Vanishing Point would probably be more the way to go for you, but I'm very sentimental to Custom 74. So either way, you're not gonna go wrong.